Hi everyone, I'm Crystal, owner of Love Child Designs, and today I'm going to teach you how to transfer your lettering onto a final watercolor piece like this one. So first what you need is obviously your lettering piece. So I wrote go jump in the lake, and I'm going to transfer that onto the watercolor paper. And then I use this pencil, it's a Staedtler pencil, it's pretty light to make the front of that. And then for the back, I'm going to use a charcoal pencil. Um, you want to use a soft pencil so it'll transfer onto the watercolor piece easily. And then to erase pencil marks afterwards, I have this Prismacolor kneaded rubber. It's good to remove pencil or charcoal like what I'm using without disturbing the watercolor background. I also have masking tape to tape the lettering piece and background into place and the marker I'm going to use for the final piece. All right, let's get started. Oh, also I'm using this Office Depot basic translucent tracing paper. Um, works good for pencil, but not so much for some markers. It does result in some bleeding when you use pigmented ink, but works great for pencil. So, first what I'm going to do is write over the back of my lettering piece with my soft pencil. And if you're wondering how I came to letter this composition on tracing paper, I took uh, Amanda Arneal's master class, which is, I think it's an eight week course, and you can learn more about that if you click the link underneath the video. Um, my lettering wouldn't be what it is today without her class, so if you wanna learn more about how to improve your skills and composition and other elements, check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna probably fast forward through this so you don't have to sit through it, but I'm gonna start tracing the back. And you want to use a pretty good amount of pressure to make sure you're getting enough of that onto the back to transfer over. Okay, now that I'm done with that side, you just flip it back over and line it up with what you're going to be lettering on. I'm going to tape down both my piece and my tracing paper so they don't get away from me while I'm tracing. I'm just using regular old painter's tape. You could probably use washi tape or something else that you know won't disturb your final piece. Okay, so now that it's in place, I'm going to go back over the front again. You can use your um, end of your pencil if it's round to burnish it onto the back of the paper. But usually what I like to do is go through with a harder pencil and trace over again. So you're transferring now that soft pencil 
onto the watercolor beads. Usually I go over it a couple times just to make sure you get something on there and sometimes I'll take a peek. Yep, it's transferring over perfect. That's why I like using the softer pencil. That helps, it's easier to transfer. Okay, now let's take a look, see how that transferred. Pretty good. So you can see there's some spaces that didn't quite get permanently or um, all the way transferred, but that doesn't really matter. I can see where I need to fill in the gaps. All right, now I'm just gonna go over it with my final pen. And here I'm using a Tombow dual brush pen in black and it's a pretty used one so that tip is a little frayed so it's okay to use it on such a rough surface. Usually I wouldn't use Tombows on a rougher surface like watercolor but once they start dying out a little bit there you can use them for other surfaces. Okay, now that I'm done with tracing my final piece, I'm just going to go through and erase some of the charcoal marks that I can still see. Again, this is the Prismacolor Kneaded Rubber. And I just tore off a little piece.
that's how you get your lettering from tracing paper onto a watercolor piece without worrying about ruining it. Thanks for watching!